I know that I was wearing my Metal Gear is gay t-shirt because Metal Gear is hella gay and I love it as gay as it is because Metal Gear has always been a really homoerotic franchise but it's Phantom Pain, we have to wear the Diamond Dogs one I'm sorry, I had to change it I love my Metal Gear is gay t-shirt but for Phantom Pain we have to wear this one Shit is gay? Yeah, Metal Gear is super gay. And this is my... my arm. This is my Metal Gear arm. Well, I'm gay then. <laughs> I didn't know you were gay! <laughs> uh, but jokes aside, uh, let me show you the t-shirt. Well, I can show you. Uh, t-shirt on on the computer it will be it will be easy uh this is the t-shirt that i was wearing i'm going to show it to you in a second Oh my god, there is a lot of censorable things in here. <laughs> yeah, better if I don't show you exactly that, because uh, my stream might go down. <laughs> Country or region, uh, fucking hell, Spain, yeah, whatever. You're from Spain, but without the S. Yeah, I'm from Spain, without the S. I'm also from Spain. We without the A. I'm from the Spain. Spain. Hold on, it's making me dizzy. <laughs> oh my god, that was. Why did I do that? Uh, I'm from Spain without the A or without the S. I'm from both. <laughs> okay, after doing the stupid thing. The stupidest thing I could do. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking adorable. Uh, what I was going to do is showing you my t-shirt. Because you, you have to... The, the Metal Gear is gay t-shirt is this one. My t-shirt <laughs> has a lot of posts from Tumblr talking about how Metal Gear is gay. Metal Gear Solid Rising equals Raiden is gay. The homoerotic undertones of Metal Gear Solid. Is a snake from Metal Gear Solid a homosexual? Etc. 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 And my favorite, and in the fucking center of the t-shirt, it says Metal Gear is a Russian taunt. Which is a Russian taunt? But whoever wrote it, wrote it wrong. Like, they wrote taunt. Let me, let me grab it. Like, right here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, wrong side. This. It's not gay. It's not gay. It's a Russian twant. <laughs> well, as soon as I saw that picture, I was like, I need it. I need that t-shirt. A t-shirt talking about how gay Metal Gear it is or it is not, and we all know that it is super gay. <laughs> I need that t-shirt. <laughs> also, uh, Nick, you are two times on the screen. Wow. I mean, you cannot be four times because you were already following, but two times is impressive. Virtual currency, we know that you have loot boxes. We don't care. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legal Konami bullshit, I know. I'm stupidly proud of the merch I have from Metal Gear Solid 5 for someone that doesn't really enjoy that much Metal Gear Solid 5. It's, in fact, I'm so angry at Metal Gear Solid 5 that I told Nea exactly when they lied to us. Uh, because I remember the day, the month, and I remember the video where it happened. Like, I, I, I remember, I remember, I remember when they lied to us. To enjoy online features on Metal Gear TPP, you need the Metal Gear TPP update data from downloadable content. I already updated the game. It's fucking use you. Uh, you have to download a separate file? Fuck you, it's a DLC file? Why? <laughs> Unlucky I, I censored the screen because it's showing my, my credit card info. And you cannot see that. I hate that it shows your credit card info even for things that are free. <laughs> but it's like, I'm getting something free, you don't have to confirm shit. <laughs> I'm not paying, so why do you need my info? Do you have me your card info? Are you perhaps a Nigerian prince? I'll keep it safe. Are you perhaps a Nigerian priest? A prince, sorry, because if you are, if you are, I will send you my credit card info. I want to see it for research. If any of you two are, are a Nigerian prince, I will send you my... You are? You are? I will send it to you right now. I will send it to you right now. Oh no, you are in prison. Would you look at that? You are in prison. What did you do with my credit card info, Ori? Why did you go to prison? <laughs> You just gave prison. Oh, look! Look at that! Look at that! You are out. As soon as you got in, you got out. That's impressive. That was fast. That was fast. You stole Terra's heart. Let me out. You are out. It's fine. You are out. That was fast. Yeah. Is he installed already? Can Can we continue? I don't know what I was talking about before you all say that. I don't know what I was talking about. Did you know Terra is dead? No! What happened? You can also do this. Oh, that's it. If you have a really tiny penis, you could do certain things with this hand. Just saying. Just saying, the hand is, is, is pretty good. The hand is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Also, for some reason, the game is not loading. Couldn't buy back his heart. Ah! Oh. Damn it, now we have to go to that intergalactic organ trading game that I have on my computer and, and recover Terra's heart. I installed the thing, why did you fucking crash? I was talking about something but I forgot. Oh yeah, I remember the fucking day they lied to us. And I told Nea, the day and the video, it happened. Uh, they lied to us about how the game works exactly on june 26th 2014 kojima station number 12. and i remember that because on that day they showed us that you can capture vehicles you can capture soldiers and you can capture animals and that when you go back to mother base those animals will be there and they showed they showed the new mother base and they showed the soldiers being super active Everyone you capture is in there. Everyone is doing something. Instead of literally three people walking around doing nothing, which is what we get. Because we got 
Not a Metal Gear. We got the the equivalent of Metal Gear to No Man's Sky. And I remember that June 26, 2014 is when Kojima lied to me. Gonna try to sleep, honey? Have to wake up at 6? Love you. Have a nice sleep now. Have a nice sleep. Thank you. I will be killing people and capturing animals. Or capturing people and killing... No, no, I will be killing people and capturing animals. Thank you for coming to the stream. Have a good night now. Also, Trottle, you should probably get some sleep if you can. It's like super late for you. Is no nation we inhabit but a language? Make no mistake, our native tongue is our true fatherland. A meal cure and Romanian philosopher. I'll go to sleep too. Terra's corpse is saying that he wants me by his side. Oh, uh, don't pull uh, Romeo and Juliet. Don't die, both of you. Have a nice night, but don't die. It's 2 a.m. for me. Yeah, precisely why I'm telling you. If you need to sleep, go to sleep. From the man who sold the world. I forgot the copyrighted music in this game. There is a shit ton of it. Well, would you look at that? My channel is going down today. Thank you, Kojima. <laughs> it's about to play. Nope, 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 nope. You know I had to do it. I didn't know Metal Gear Solid 5 had she shanty in it. That doesn't fit at all. It fits surprisingly well with Kingdom Hearts. Damn, high nurse. Yeah, you, you can focus your vision for that. Look at how smart you are, focusing your vision on what matters. <laughs> Fucking pervert. <laughs> ah, these... Earpieces. Damage in my ear, and it hurts. The music is still playing, now that I think about it. It's lower, but it's still playing. Flowers. From the guy... That is right next to us. Hi, nurse. Hi, nurse. Hi. You can see her name on the on the keycard. Uh, 
Gear. Metal Gear or something. Something, something, hospital, something, something, metal gear. Huh. Wow, the viewer count went down like super fast when he started doing the, the snake impression. <laughs> <laughs> B has, has come too. Where are my subtitles? Where are my fucking subtitles? Where are subtitles off? Uh, game type to start. And you all are empty. Uh, sound settings, display settings, camera settings, so display settings? Subtitle display everyone. Camera settings, control settings. Yeah. Hmm. There is like a person type shadow on that other carton. Interesting, right? A wisdom. A wisdom. First cup of coffee is down. We go to the second one. Hear me. Are you having difficulty speaking? Yes. Can you move your head? No. Look up, please. Just nod if you can hear me. Very good. Look up, please. Look up, please. Very good. My neck. Very good. <laughs> How do you feel now? Can you speak? No. <laughs> what is your name? Your mama. When were you born? Can you recall? He barely can speak and you are asking me a full name and when I was born? Uh, how are you going to call uh, this guy? I said your mama, but... We can call it this. We can call it this. So we can make the joke this nuts all the time. Just saying. That is an option. And it's on the table. These nuts are on the table. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't see the second one coming. One vote for these nuts. These nuts on one. These nuts on two. These nuts on three. If no one says anything, I'm going to keep saying these nuts and I will use it as a name. So, these nuts it is. It will cost 12. Oh, so your name is these nuts. Now then. Please try to relax. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. Is there Doctor something? Tell you something? Please listen and try not to panic. Try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Quite some time. Yes, yes. I know, I know. you wouldn't like to know how long. To know how long. I'm Maybe it's been, it's been nine years. Nine years. Damn it. Nasakoma. Nasakoma, nurse! Nasakoma, nurse! Calm down. 
Try not to panic. <laughs> Try not to panic. Try not to panic. <laughs> You'll be all right. That is exactly what you tell to someone that is having a panic attack. Try not to panic. Try not to panic. Try harder. How do you feel? I don't know. I've been in a coma for nine years and a week. So how do you guess I feel? Hey, flowers. Hey. What you can hear on the radio is the PT radio. Evangelos Constantinopoulos was the name. We are in Cyprus. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. And Cyprus in the that map in there behind the TV is from Cyprus. Cyprus in the eighties was uh, half uh, half Greek and half British. We're on the British part. Upon examination, You're way too close. You embedded within. Nasty. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone Ew. and human teeth. Yep, we have pass all over us. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. Some of the teeth are still in your they chest. Are located near your heart and in your skull. Look at this. The, the fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI. I love that the, when you use the camera, does the that a real camera doesn't do? And human eyes doesn't do that either. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life threatening. You are still too close. One more thing. This X ray is on your upper body. My hand. You better look now. My hand. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult. But please look down. You are the tech in person. Like you, you did this with a lot of empathy. I wonder why you have a left arm. I wonder why I fucking have a left arm. Try not to panic. I have to make try not to panic out with him. I'm sorry, I'm going to write it down. Also, speaking of Kojima Station, I, I, I remember when they lied to us, but I also remember, lively, how I watched 63 hours of it. 63 hours of Kojima talking about fucking movies and Metal Gear Solid 5. It's true. Ah. Those who wish you would Over like out. four months. You should be dead, but you are not. The wheels are trying not your to enemies are panic. Everywhere. We must alter your appearance oh, immediately. The, yeah. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. Pass, go, boom. It's Three, a wide open world. Beam. So there's something we need to take care of first. <gasps> Snake! I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however... Okay, I wrote down two redeems that I want to make, and I will make them uh, eventually. Uh, how do we want to look? We know that the medic, the canon appearance of the medic is either this one or this one. Because the medic was white. Uh, obviously, you can make a black character, but we saw clearly in the helicopter that the medic was white. 
so and that it had like dark hair so it's, it's probably this one i hate that they showed the face of the medic only then to hide it again like it's uh... make the beard longer do you have a facial hair uh feature skin color uh, facial hair. No, scars and tattoos, etc. There is no facial hair? Seriously? Oh, it's on the hairstyle. There. Well, that is a snake's new face. That is how he looks now. That was fast surgery. You did that with a mirror? My god. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. Has it? To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. <laughs> to hide you from those who want you dead. Like that girl right there? As of today, your name is Ahab. Your name is Ahab. Or nurse? Everything. Nurse? Your name nurse? Well? Your past. Are you are you going to talk about the nurse? There is something written on that picture. Hmm. Would you look at that? Morpho, Miller, Snake and the Medic. Hi. This is you, as you've lived until this day. Didn't you just do surgery on my face? Tomorrow, it becomes... a phantom. I hate that I'm so salty about this game. It's a nice intro. It's not a bad intro. I'm just salty because I know the game. Oh no, the nurse is dead. And so is the doctor. To head into bed now, have a nice stream and sleep all later. Thank you, Trottle. I have to handle a couple of resumes tomorrow, so I will probably not sleep a lot. Of What are you doing with that water pistol? Oh no, a water gun! What am I going to do? That is the most childish thing you can do. Oh no, my throat! Fucking TikTok. <laughs> I love how she's on fire and she still moves. Like, she's able to dodge a knife while being on fire. Like, she's a fucking hardcore soldier.
and now she's a medium rare soldier. <gasps> you have okay, a hook. I have time to go. What happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a life. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? I'm your ghost. Talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Do not question it. Here in the land of the living. Bad news, news, the whole world wants you there. Wants you there. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. The whole place, whole place is coming down. Yes, I know. Need a little pick me up? Okay. Here. No. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Nice ass. Wouldn't you be wearing underwear? Like, uh, I know you're in a hospital, but I'm wearing pants. Why are you not? <laughs> Just asking. Why are you naked? Can you keep up? I'm trying to. Literally all you can do for almost 5 minutes, if not 10, is holding up. Watching, watching cutscenes and holding up. I know moving left. I'm, I'm literally holding up. I'm not moving the joystick. See, this is where I say that the intro is nice, the rest of the mission is not. Oh, would you look at that? Let me explore. Let me turn around. I can move the camera. The nurse is dead. The other guy is dead. Can I can I turn around? Can I go back? Oh no! You can only move in front of you, which is holding up. But wait, do I have to go to the right? Do I move this joystick somewhere else? No, I just hold up and he does it on his own. And that for like 10 minutes. This way. Also, nice ass. Look at all those polygons in that ass. Hmm. I feel like I've seen them somewhere. There is a wheelchair there and this guy cannot walk. Shouldn't you be using the wheelchair? No? Okay, never mind. This is We better take the elevator. Thank God you only have to do this once, huh? What the hell is that? Psycho Mantis. No, it's like some kind of man on fire. So 
sorry, I was updating the, the tweets. Also, I should update the category of the game. This is not Ground Zero anymore. Can't believe no one reminded me. Just try not to panic. Oh, what is that? Kojima? With a snake poster? Huh. Would you look at that? Join the Fox team. Kojima Productions. Huh. I wonder about that. Well, whatever will that be? I think this is an E3 poster. The Metal Gear Solid team is hiding for various positions at the new Los Angeles studio, as well as the Tokyo headquarters apply at the GameGamaSutra.com board uh, or on person at the GDC Career uh, Pavilion? Pavilion at booth CP2308. Yeah, so this is if you wanted to apply for Kojima Productions on the GDC. Shut up! I'm watching a fucking Easter egg. I don't think I ever bothered to, to, to read the, the poster. I knew what the poster was, but... I, I never bothered to, to stop and read it out loud. Oh no, my shoulder! Hold up, let's fix this. <laughs> this is going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, no one heard you screaming. It's always good to try and measure injuries while hiding from the enemy. Next time, do it yourself. Yeah, because it's a mechanic you are going to use a lot okay. in the game. It's not like they cut that mechanic out. No, that mechanic is still in the game. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's not like they were trying to implement mechanics from Metal Gear Solid 3 that they never implemented. What happens if you go exactly the opposite way? This way hurry. What happens if I go through here? Oh, fire, just fire, a lot of fire. Well, do you have either soldiers or fire? You choose. And I think the soldiers are going to see me now that I chose the fire. Yep, they're there. Don't you die on me. Shut up. Ahab. Ahab. If I have to go through this, at least let me let me look at the Easter eggs and and, and have some fun. This way, hurry. Can I move? Please. I don't want to die. Ah. Come from. Yeah, 
you see these precision bullet uh bullet wounds that the uh, the corpses are having like this one yeah that doesn't happen in the game it's it's not implemented like that wound that looks so nice pure cutting it's not in the game Thank God you're wearing a gas mask and you cannot see shit, huh? Absolutely no one behind us. No, 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 don't turn around. There's, there, there's no one. No one behind us. Now that there is no one behind us, I can move forward a tiny bit, a couple of steps. Oh, would you look at that? There is someone behind me. Help me. I don't want to die. You didn't see he was grabbing someone's leg. Also, that is the, like the slowest and more painful way of killing someone you could have done. <laughs> like, at least your friend shot the other guy in the head. At least your friend had the decency of shooting the other guy in the head. Imagine if the game was what they are showing here. Like, imagine how good Metal Gear Solid 5 could have been. It had so much potential. Don't get caught in those searchlights. Here they come, hurry. You can make him push you all the way through, but I didn't I didn't nail it. If you stay right in front of him. He keeps walking and moves your your body uh, through the cutscene. So you don't have to run. <laughs> it's a speedrun speed strat. Why would you stop in the fucking doorway? They will never be able to open that. If only they had like a, a chainsaw or something. Oh no! They do have a chainsaw. What if I go with the nurse? Oh no, the nurse is dead. Did you just shoot the guy in the nuts? And down he goes. Hurry. This way. Yeah, this way. No, it's ugly down there. Who are you talking to? I'm in front of you. <laughs> he. It, me in front of him, he turning around, aiming at a ghost, because this is program. I'm agreeing with come on. Oh god. So much wasted potential in this game. <laughs> what's happening out there? It's alright, we'll be okay. I can't see what's happening. Well, it will just stay here, I guess. You hear that? All right, come on. Do you really have to push people? Hey. 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 
Hey, look, it's my friend with the bare ass. Wait, that ass is different. He has different polygons. That is not his ass. Huh. Who are you? That is not my friend's ass. How lucky that there is like 20 meat shields in the way, huh? So this can go two ways, I can hide on a different bed or I can hide exactly on the same one he's in. I'm going to go for the second route because a lot of people don't know you can do it. Also, look at that taint, that beautiful sensor taint. until I can actually stop playing the game. This might be the slowest Metal Gear Solid intro ever made. Like, I, I believe that this... This has been 47 fucking minutes. 47 painful slow minutes. Would you going to hide under the bed? Usually your character is either in there or the other one. What type of curtain is that? How does it hold a corpse? What curtain does that? <laughs> I've been in hospitals many times. No hospital curtain can hold up human body. <laughs> the rings holding the, the curtain will break immediately. Not, not a couple of seconds later. No, they will snap as soon as someone touched it. There is one of my hairs in my eye, and it's getting really annoying and painful. Anything? Negative. He came in here. Keep looking. If I leave this here, I will probably be able to hear it without hurting my ear. If I could move, I would do it, but I cannot. Now, oh, finally. God, it took you a second, huh? This way. Wrong one. We're sitting ducks, blended with the bodies. Get down on your stomach and crawl. Do you mean what I'm doing exactly right now? This would be the perfect place to teach you that if you're lying down and hold triangle, you can lean closer to the floor. Did they do it? Nope. They wasted the opportunity. Like on everything in this fucking game. And you will see you will see how angry I am and why I'm angry. Uh, because I will play Survive after I play this one today. I'm, I'm going to play both today, so you can see a comparison. You will see why I am so angry about how much wasted potential there is in this game.
How convenient they stop shooting the two bodies that are in the center, huh? How convenient they don't shoot these two. Everyone thinking that Ismael was being himself. How did it get there? Like, how strong do you have to be being for, for the water to get there? Oh no, he's not peeing. It's, it's like a bag of serum. Why do you question if he's alive or not? You've been shooting everyone without hesitation. There is a meaning for why his sleeves are burning. There is a meaning to why Psychomantis has burning sleeves. Yeah, that was a brilliant idea. Fire in the hole! Oh look, for some reason, you snapped your fucking knee? How and why? Because he didn't get a bullet on his knee, no, no, he he, he just has weak knees, his, his knee just snapped. I wonder where we have seen that orange uniform full of bullets. You know what it would be perfect right now? Falling on the floor and fixing my leg. It's the perfect moment to fall on the floor and fix my leg. But Metal Gear is an intrigue, a political stealth intrigue video game. Uh, is your gun Was stop. your gun fucking flying towards your hand? What the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> That's not how you open doors in the game. Also, there is no lock on this door. I don't know what you shoot at, but there, there is literally no dog on that one. We'll have to take this oh no, I see it red as blue. I have blue blood on my face right now. I wonder if this is a mechanic that will be reused on the game. No, no. I will never have fucking Daltonism again? No? Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, I'm so pissed off. This first mission is like all the triggers of what I 
what I feel are wrong with Metal Gear Solid 5, but could be also super right, and they fucked it up. As soon as I start playing, I, I will I will be slightly less angry. It's just the lack of freedom and how they show you all these cool animations and all these cool mechanics that you will never use. I wonder if you can flip the weapons in your hand and look at them when you pick them up. No, no, you will never use it. Hmm, I wonder if I can miss this shot. No, you cannot miss the shot. You have to say, huh? Didn't you say you were going to take the right? No? I have to do it all myself? Why didn't you walk there? Didn't you... Why didn't... This game is so fucking buggy. <laughs> he didn't kill any of them. What the fuck? Not only he didn't kill them, he ran towards them and the other guy was still shooting at me. It's like almost he isn't here, but we have seen him kill people. You can kill all these guys or you can ignore them. It's, it's the same anyway. I think I'm going to get an A rank because I died on purpose just to see what happens in the elevator area. I'll run interference. Oh! You can take the suppressor and throw it as a distraction? No? It's a mechanic you will never use on the game? Oh. That's sad. Also, why are you distracting someone if you're going to immediately attract attention to yourself? Why would you do that? You just left the guy next to me. Huh? Fire. Oops, I'm on fire. Am I losing health? Nope. Does it matter that I'm on fire? Nah. Again, this intro is both the best the game has to offer and at the same time the worst the game has to offer. Because as an intro, it's fucking amazing. As a showcase of what the game could have been, is really good. As a showcase of what the game actually is. Oh look, Psychomantis had like a horn on the gas mask, but not the floating fire thingies. Oh look, the fire things on, on the sleeves, but no horn. I wonder if that means something. Hmm, I wonder if Psychomance is having fire on the sleeves and the fire guy appearing are related. We seen an orange suit with golden rings on the arm. Where have we seen that before? Where have we seen someone that takes bullets and shoots them back?
Oh no, he knows I'm here. Yeah, you should probably run. Yeah, that was way too close. For comfort. I wonder when they will learn that shooting at this guy doesn't work. Quick note, they cannot see Psycho Mantis, they just see the fire guy. I wonder what is going to happen. No one notices the chopper moving the fucking... Oh look! Dismemberment! I wonder if there is going to be any kind of dismemberment in the, in the game. No? No? There is no dismemberment in the game? Oh, okay. Never mind. Just for the cutscene. You know, after firing the first shield and seeing that the guy absorbed the first shield, I wouldn't ram him. Like, I wouldn't try to use the tank to ram the guy. Just saying. Complete body, complete body, complete body. Who was cutting half? That guy is also complete. Oh, no one was cutting half. Because there is no dismemberment in this game. Hmm, interesting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I will stop being something. Also, the statue on the fountain is really important. Do they show it? Barely. Like, you have to hack the camera to actually see the statue on the fountain. And it, it sucks because it's a really important easter egg. That statue in there is a statue of the boss. Why is it a statue of the boss? Because the boss saved this fucking hospital during World War II. And they made her a statue. But do they show it to you? Do they let you see the statue? No, it's just on a cutscene. Like... I wonder if shooting this guy is a nice idea. You know, the guy that absorbs bullets. The tank already did that. How is he damaged by that, but not the tank? Oh no, look, firefighters! Fighting fire! No, the fire wings. <laughs> but look, more firefighters. You should probably look where you're driving. The fire wings again. How convenient he fell in there. The fact that he can throw fire trucks at that distance should tell you you should not fight the guy. Just saying. So that is supposed to knock him out for some reason. It knocks him out. 
and it's supposed to also hit the eye of the snake. Reason why he cannot see through the eye, even though his eyes were also already fucked up for like 20 years already. But you know what? Never mind. Never. Don't question it. But how does a bullet knock you out? Like the bullet from the helicopter knocked Ismail out. That doesn't make a lot of sense. If it was a missile, a missile would have explained the concussion, but a bullet? Again, I'm nitpicking, I'm nitpicking, sorry, sorry about this, I... It will be better. It's just that the first mission is so... fucking tedious and... Ah. Why didn't you wear your seatbelt? He was not wearing the seatbelt. He, he never did that motion, but... No, no, the chopper. Hey, look, it's Psycho Mantis, and he has a horn again. Hmm, interesting. A horn, but no burning sleeves. I wonder why a horn and no burning sleeves. Flying fucking horse, because Metal Gear is not. It, Metal Gear is about stealth, political intrigue, stealth. But yeah, there is a flying fucking fire horse. Hey, cowboy. Get on. I'm on your side. Oh look, you have a revolver. I wonder what your name is. I wouldn't even fucking question it. There is a fire horse following you. <laughs> like, if, if a human offers you hope and there is a beast following you, I would accept it. Use this. Watch our backs. Shoot him. Watch for an opening. Careful, they just fall the Also, you have to shoot the horse, not him. Shooting him does pretty much nothing. Shooting the horse stops the horse. But since the horse is fucking immortal, apparently... I'm also on fire. Persistent bastard, wait a minute. It looks like this guy knows the fire guy. Back from the dead, so you know who he is. That is actually a nice detail telling you who this guy is. It's, it's, it's a nice foreshadowing, a bit on the fucking nose, but it's a nice foreshadowing. I'm on it. My bullets are limited. We shook him off. Did you? My last bullets. Oh, look! There is electricity other than fire. It's not just fire, it's also electricity. Who have we seen? Wearing a, an orange suit with 
fucking golden rings on the arms and using electricity and is able to shoot the bullets back. And he's supposed to be dead because he's back from the dead. Mm. God, finish the fucking mission, let me actually play the game. I'm sorry, I'm salty. I'm sorry, I'm salty. I really am. It's just that the, the first mission is, is a painful reminder of what this game could have been. Like, I've been playing for 55 fucking minutes. 55 minutes of me doing nothing. Also, you can see the statue a little bit better in here. Then again, do they tell you? No. You have to learn from other sources. Why did they give me an S rank? Why not? Soon you will learn that the usual rules of Metal Gear don't apply in this game. If you kill everyone in a mission, you can still get an SR. If you are not stealthy, but you are fast, and you are noisy as hell, but you are still fast, you can still get an S rank for some fucking reason. Because this is no longer an stealth game, this is just something with the name Metal Gear. Oh, no fire sleeves. No fire sleeves, but there is a horn. I wonder if that means something. Oh look, he's up there again, but with a fire. No. The, the, again, the, there is a lot of cool foreshadowing. There is a lot of cool foreshadowing. Like, the fire and the horns, a lot of people didn't notice that. Not even on the fucking trailers. Some people did. Some people called it crazy. But it's, it's cool foreshadowing. I'm not going to say that. This game has a lot of cool things. But it's, it, it is also like painfully incomplete. The name's Ocelot. Big boss. You know who I am. Revolver Third Ocelot? Man gave me a job to do, too, actually. First was to get you out of that hospital. The second was to rescue the man himself. You remember? I remember. Your partner nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Partner as in a business partner or as in your boyfriend partner came under attack by Cypher. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. Also, September 2014, they show a trailer of a scrawny snake, like with this scrawny body, and then they show him with a more muscular body, like there was, like there was like some kind of muscle development that you can do on the, on the game. There is no muscle development on the game. Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. The Reds' 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. The squad holding Miller set off near the Pakistan border yesterday. Now in three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. They'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. I give him two weeks. The job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. Well, there's our ride. It's a whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now, seven days to Port Kasim, 
Another three over land. So we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. Ha! Why did you do that? I didn't do that. I was literally touching the mouse and keyboard. How did it take the controller to the zoom in, zoom out? I didn't. This is a nice intro, again, um, it, it feels a lot like a James Bond intro, but they show you that they go from Cyprus to to the Suez Canal, and how a snake starts developing muscle, uh, of course, off camera. There is no mechanic to develop muscle in the game, like they, they kind of show you how to do it. Oh look, you have a prosthetic arm that is way too advanced for the 80s. And also missing the pinky finger. I wonder if that is a reference to something. The same. Okay, we can finally actually go to the game. There's a couple more long cutscenes, but they are giving us some freedom now. This is not the most boring Metal Gear fucking intro ever made. How can you have so much good material on such an intro and fuck it up so hard? Like, they had a really hardcore intro. They had a hardcore intro. And they still fucked it up. under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. That was fast. Revolver Sarashaska, Revolver Adam, Revolver Adamska, Revolver Ocelot, Revolver, Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> also, you go from the broken arm to the red one 
like really fucking fast. They they do it on a cutscene. They do it on the intro cutscene. They don't even let you play with a broken arm. Fuck! I was shooting and reloading with the fucking hook like it was nothing. Should be the perfect warm. Your face is the perfect warm up. Oh look, the logo is different. The logo is now the diamond box. Cousin Hira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your eye drawer. You see Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. Marker placed. Close your eye Go ahead and close the eye drawer. Got your binoculars, or should I say your int scope? You can call them binoculars, it's fine. It was a beat of the mark. Hmm. Alright, that's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about Use L1 for Intel. That's VLO Village. The Bielo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewan Dehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where There is already a marker on it. Marker removed. Marker, nice. Wrong target, boss. Use your binoculars to focus in on Davialo Calais village and market. I just fucking did. Marker removed. Marker Good. placed. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. <laughs> you can't have much left in him. I give him three days, tops. If we fail and he dies. We lose our chance of revenge. The timer is an actual timer. They they give you three time. days to rescue him, and if you take more than three days, he dies. That is a cool detail. Risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Again, it's a big place. big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it. Well, Is it though? From here on out, you're on your own. Now go! Let the legend come back to life. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return as big boss. That's how Koss would want. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. But they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses... ...and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Of course they had to do the... the... The fucking glasses plug. <laughs> Do you three wear? Now go. Let the legend come back to life. Let yeah, the I know. Come back to life. And now I turn around and he's not even there. Where is he? Sorcery? Hi, the horse. Why don't you do a little more practice in those ruins? Shooting, taking cover, climbing obstacles. See to it that nine year gap doesn't slow you down. Hmm. Cool, huh? Back 
That's a type of medicinal plant. Bring it back to base. It's sure to be useful sometime. Even the sheerest cliffs are climbable if there are cracks you can use. I fucking know, but thank you. Even find some unexpected routes that way. Keep an eye out for cracks on your travels. Oh look, is that a raw diamond? That's a rough diamond. Good find. It'll fetch a high price. No, we will not. It's a normal fucking diamond. Every mission has like a couple of secret tasks that you can do, and finding that diamond is one of them. Uh, this is not going to be 100%. This is a. I'm going to do the campaign and call it a day because. Phantom Pain? It's not my favorite Metal Gear. Is it a good Metal Gear? No. Is it a good game? It's a decent one. My what? Oh, my phantom cigars that I haven't used because I don't have them yet. Interesting that you mentioned them. How do you make this horse go faster? Oh, circle. Hmm. I wonder if there's enemy soldiers in Oh look, enemy soldiers. That's marking. Focus on the thread and it'll be marked. Security at that guard post is relatively light. Looks like the perfect place for a warm-up. Try to remember the ways you used to deal with enemies. Anytime you need Snapping their necks. That's another thing that happens a lot in this game. Sentences cut each other constantly in this game. Sight, sound, keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. Yeah, your only senses are sight and sound, not smell. They have a really fucking cool... They, I hate this, I hate this, I'm sorry, I hate this. They have a really cool mechanic. There is showers in the game. There is a smell in the game. If you don't shower a snake, and if you cover a snake on blood, he smells. And the enemies smell you. Like, they have a good fucking mechanic on the game. And they don't tell you about it. Don't leave bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. Don't you fucking tell them. Oh, a suppressor, nice. I wonder if I can interrogate this guy. Talk. Boss, you don't understand what he said? Uh, I guess that makes sense. It looks like that uh, horn stuck in your head has impacted the language center of your brain. If only we had a recruit with a Russian interpreter skill, we could get by with simultaneous interpretation. If only we had like a triple agent able to talk like four languages, including Russian, talking to me on my ear right the fuck now. Where are your friends? Uh... Speak. Understanding a language and being able to interpret from that language for somebody else are two different things. Juggling languages at a rapid-fire pace is more difficult than you might think. So, uh, in other words, while I do speak Russian, don't expect me to do your interpreting. But you are able to be an interpreter, you son of a bitch! Guard post captured. Nice, captured. How come I've never had the trophy? Oh, because I played this on PlayStation 3. I have the PS3 trophies and not the PS4 ones. Huh. Interesting. 
So I will be getting the PS3 trophies. That's another thing, your force um, spawns and despawns at will. Like, it, it teleports, it, it doesn't move. He teleports. And you can call him, whatever. It's, it's not like on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, where you call the horse and, and they tell you, Oh no, you're too far away, your horse didn't hear you. No, 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 the, the horse will spawn. Like, the horse will. Tr trust your horse, it will. Appear. There was something in here, I don't remember something in here. Maybe it's on another mission. I remember like a diamond being here, but maybe it's another dimension. Afghanistan is a big place. Are you planning on going food? Get on your horse. You're almost at the enemy outpost, Violo Village. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? Like right here? There is a better place, you can you can actually overlook the village from there. It's up to you whether to slip by enemies or take them down. Just remember that any situation can change fast. Familiarize yourself with your weapons and items while you can. You need to be able to switch between them quickly to meet any threat. The fact that they put the the weapons on the D-pad doesn't make it super easy to change the fucking weapons. Especially because now, when you open the menu, it doesn't let you stop time. The cool thing is that unlike uh, Ground Zeroes that we just played, when you have the menu open, you can still move while the menu is still open. But on Ground Zeroes, when I had to change something, for example, on the rifle, like joining the... How about it? Can you see the village from there? I, I'm talking to the chat, shut up. Uh, when you have to do something like turning the flashlight off, uh, you can actually do it on the go. You don't have to do it uh, while stopping, like on Ground Zeroes. Like, the, the Ground Zeroes had some, uh, some really cool things, and, and some things that could be improved. And they kind of improved some of the things, but they went back on some of the others. Like, for example, Ground Zeroes had a mechanic where you could uh, import movie, uh, import movie, import music from your console. Like if you had music on your PlayStation, you could play custom music on Ground Zeroes. But that feature is not on the Phantom Pain. They took it away. I think they kept it on PC or someone modded it on PC. I don't remember if, if they kept it on PC or if someone made a mod for it. But on PlayStation 3 and 4, Ground Zeroes had custom music that you could import from your... Oh no, a car, whatever I'm going to do. Are you going to tell me what the fuck is what I just picked up? No? Okay. Uh, that is the fast travel system. Every town has like a post office. Post office, but post delivery place. And um, if you pick the the thingy you can you can use it for fast travel. No, it tells you the, the hint down there. Another thing that doesn't matter at all in this game is camouflage. 
Like, if you wear a green camouflage, or if you wear a red one, or if you wear the fucking flag of Japan in your camouflage, it doesn't matter. The enemies will be able to see you the same no matter what the fuck you're wearing. Which is sad because there was a really neat camouflage mechanic on Metal Gear Solid 3. And there was active camouflage on Metal Gear Solid 4. So this is a huge step back. It goes without saying that darkness is good for infiltration. But your vision will be affected just the same. Keep your guard. The parabolic antenna. There could be it. Those materials are already See what I told you about about cutting himself the, his own lines? Goes without saying. Oh, a parabolic antenna. Oh, those materials will it. Three sentences. He not he didn't finish any of them. And that will happen throughout the game all the time. Is, is there no fucking queue? Is there no way of making a queue on this game? It, oh look, they're speaking Russian. If only someone spoke Russian and could tell me what they're saying. My Russian is not that advanced. My my Russian is. <laughs> gotta give it to them. Gotta give it to them. Gotta give it to them. I've been saying since they fucking won Metal Gear Solid 2, they are Russian soldiers and they are speaking in English for some fucking reason. They are Russian soldiers speaking in English on an English fucking ship in the middle of New York. Should they be speaking in Russian? Of course they should be speaking in Russian. Are they doing it? No, they are just speaking in English with a bad Russian accent. Metal Gear Solid 3. The whole game takes place in Russia. Do they speak in Russian? No, they speak in English with a bad Russian accent. But at some point on one cutscene, they say, Oh, your Russian is very good, which hints you, you are hearing English, but they are actually speaking Russian, the whole game. Okay, fucking wonderful, I can take that. Metal Gear Solid 2, not so much. Metal Gear Solid 3, at least they look for a, for a, for a way out. This game actually has multiple languages and you have to find the interpreters. They did something cool. It's too bad the first people you fucking encounter are speaking Russian and the only person talking to you is fluent both in Russian and English and could translate perfectly but is not willing to. Like in the hospital there is a wheelchair and your character cannot talk. Do they pick the wheelchair? No, they force you to, t to walk for some fucking reason. Hey, that's something. I don't want to pick that weapon. You have arrived at your destination. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Then I the game has some cool features. It's so unbelievably incomplete on some others. So you picked up Intel an intel file. file. Extraction now we know where Miller is. Database. I'm marking it on your iDroid. This uh, prevents them from asking for reinforcements. Well, actually, destroying the Palabolic Antenna does it. Oh, look! 
Build my parabolic antenna. And goodbye, soldiers. Diamond. I knew there was a diamond under a bridge, but I, I went under the wrong one. This diamond always spawns in here. Also, unlike since Metal Gear Online and this one are connected, um, unlike Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, you are not likely to run out of money as easily as you were on, on Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker was like really limited on money, uh, but this one is not. Security cameras, I think there is like five security cameras in the whole game. Unlike Ground Zeroes, where there is security cameras everywhere. Afghanistan is a big place, use your horse. I'm not going to do it. The enemy's given up their search for you. But they're not giving the all clear just yet. Stay alert. Extraction arrived at the base. Hey look, the alert is gone. Another cool feature. Um when you're doing missions and um, time passes. Um, sometimes you will hover over an area and it will, uh, the icons on the upper right corner where it says uh, locate and rescue Kasuhira Miller, those icons mean that they shoot the full tone balloons, that they wear helmets, that there are security cameras which they don't use often, that they have better heavy weapons, that they uh, have night vision and that they have uh, snipers. The, the game kinda adapts to how you play it. And they say kinda because this is another downgrade from Ground Zeroes. The game not only adapted to how you played, the game adapted to how the other players played. So sometimes when you would look on the map, they would be hot zones. And the hot zones would be places where there were more guards based on the alerts triggered by other players. Which is a fucking amazing mechanic that they didn't use on this game. And it pisses me off. Because it was a really nice mechanic. Because every since since the release of Ground Zeroes, I played the same mission four times when it released. And the four times were slightly different. With the years they deactivated that. I think they deactivated that like a couple months into the release. And it fucking sucks because I remember clearly that when I did the first mission, the soldiers had different patterns based on where the other players were captured. And they deactivated that. And it fucking sucks because they have the same pattern, the same predictable pattern every fucking time now they had so many good ideas and they fucked it up so much it's an enemy guard post watch yourself That's another thing from Peace Walker, if I remember correctly. Um, when you shoot four enemies on Peace Walker, uh, if two of them are close and they see that a friend is shot, they go into alert mode right away. Or if they see someone dropping, like they just did. Blinding here, nah. Their AI is not is not the brightest. Guard post captured. Dun, 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 dun. 
There is a lot of copyright in this fucking game. Dun 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 dun. Can you fool on the guys? Nope, not yet. I mean, I I will not get angry at that that they give you the full tone later because it's especially because you don't have a Russian interpreter at the moment. So, what is the point of full tone in the guys? There is a side mission on Waxing Darax, but doing the side mission right now is pointless. So, let's go rescue Miller. Also, you can pick things up by walking. You cannot pick things up by running. It's something that you will learn that if you... Extraction arrived at motorbase. If you want to pick things up, you have to stop running, pick them up and then go back to run. But you cannot pick them up by running. And there is no way to speed that up, which is weird because they give you a lot of upgrades, but um, your speed of picking things up is not one of them. I like that it is an open world and that while I'm doing this, if it wasn't because Ocelot is going to keep talking, I could be listening to to this. We're hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. But the problem move from Cuba's little America right is what is about to happen. Britain. Why to kill you? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place I You've reached one day. They've got Miller locked up in that town. Check your eyes, Roy, for his location. I hope to hell he's alright. He's not your average client. And it doesn't stop the tape. You are listening to a tape, they cut in, they start fucking japping, and they cut the tape. Which doesn't matter because it is a tape. And you can always rewind it and you can always listen at it again when it matters. <laughs> and this is the wonderful part when it matters is when you are listening to someone talk, you take two steps and after taking two steps, someone cuts in the conversation. And it is a sentence that you cannot listen again because reasons. I think I marked them all. Uh, do I have C4? Only grenades. Okay. Uh, there is a way to get a better rank on this mission. You will see the Skull Squadron on this mission, but you can completely avoid the Skull Squadron. I kind of want to show you the Skulls. But I also want to do the fast way. Also, there is a patrol in there. I saw their, their red lights. See that red dot in there? The soldiers with the red dot? That is a radio backpack and they are a patrol. They go on foot from base to base and... They are slightly unpredictable. And I say slightly because they are completely predictable once you know their pattern. Now that they are gone, I can shoot you. Listen, thank you. Oh, you don't see me even though you just use your light on me. Hmm. You have arrived at your destination. I have this, which means that I can teleport here. The guy's going to sleep soon. You know what? I will take the easy way. 
out. As the low roar song said. See nothing, you see nothing, just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Start a call. Oh, my suppressor is no down. longer effective. Bear in mind your weapon will be loud from now on. There's a thing I can do, but I'm waiting for this guy to fall asleep, which is soon ish. Hit him in the face, hit him in the face, hit him in the face, 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 face. That's another thing I don't really like about this game. There is no health bar. You recover from thin fucking air. They're sending reinforcements. I'm not shooting you, don't fucking lie. He just said that I'm shooting him. The alert is gone, but I'm going to trigger it again. Granada! Granada! Did you just kill yourself by accident? <laughs> he just threw a grenade on himself. What are you shooting? Outpost captured. Moses. Oh, look if uh, Koino Kyushuku love deterrence. Uh, the way of doing this fast is to. Oh, I don't have the calling a chopper? I cannot call in a chopper. Uh, the way of doing this fast is calling a chopper in here, but apparently I cannot call a chopper yet. God. 
Remember when they say uh, when they said back on Ground Zeroes, oh, they even gave Kojima the same pose. They gave Kojima this same pose because for some reason they wanted to give Kojima the same level as Miller. They do something to your eyes. No, it's it's just bright as all. They burn his eyes. Took you so long. We'll talk, but not here. Extraction uh, arrived at the motor base. Oh, I have a suppressor again. Cool. You secure the target. I'll send the chopper to get you out. Make your way to the RV. You can check the location on your iDroid. Or I can call it here. Mission info has been updated. Oh, it doesn't let me call it here. So, um, there is a way to do this fast, but apparently you cannot do it on the first playthrough. Apparently you cannot do it on the first playthrough, which sucks. I mean, it's cool because they force you to see the skulls. This is important. If you don't, if you don't press triangle, you have to press triangle for that to happen. A lot of people never knew you could say that. Which is a nice feature. But it's cool that they, they let you press triangle. I wish they prompted you to say it. Instead of just giving you an audio cue and hoping you would press an uh, a button on the controller. Almost happy new year for you. I don't yes. think it is new year yet for you, but maybe in a couple of hours? I, I think you were five hours behind me. It's them. I think it's 10 p.m. for you, or it should be like 10 p.m. No, wait, you're in Canada. That is. Oh, it could be anything. It's 10? It's 10. Okay, so you're on the eastern part of Canada. Whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. Oh, of course. You can also distract them, but you need uh, better weapons than the ones I have right now. Like, they don't give a fuck about the... <laughs> the magazines. Mm. 
look to the other side. There is noise in there. Yeah, look at the noise. They don't really give a flying fuck about that, don't they? One of them kind of turned. Well, they're coming down here. You're supposed to call the horse and just run it. In fact, it's what I'm going to do. Can't believe the switch is almost five. You think they will replace it. I, they, they just released the switch OLED, so I don't think they will replace it, replace it right away. I think they can announce the replacement, and I mean announce. Did you fucking get stuck over there? I think they can announce the... The replacement next year, and release it in like two, but I don't think they will replace it right away. I, I see them replacing it on 2024. 2023, 2024. Like holiday 2023. How do you go past square? I haven't played this game in a long time. Oh, look, a ship. But yeah, th since they just released the Switch uh, OLED this year, I can see them showing or talking about the second Switch or the replacement, the, the next one, uh, on 2022 and releasing it on 2023 holidays or 2024. 2024 holidays seems like too late for it. Like, yeah, it's feasible, but it feels a little bit too late. With the same power as a PS4, <laughs> maybe, maybe in a generation or two they will they will give the the same power to the console. I think they're going to focus more on the streaming technology, since they are using it already on the Switch. But the problem is that the Switch has like really bad Wi-Fi. I think they are going to focus a bit more on on the streaming tech, not really on giving it more power, but giving it uh, giving it the ability of running the game on the cloud. So, Horse, my friend, bring my friend. Target secure. Horse is flying. And there he comes <laughs> on a balloon flying. Do you know one cloud gaming server since to be honest? I mean I've played control on cloud on the switch. It doesn't feel great because the switch's Wi-Fi is not amazing, but it also doesn't feel like super bad. I mean on a split second decisions, it kinda of feels bad because it's a little bit laggy, but if you're playing on easy or on normal, it doesn't really matter. Also, I'm not going to let the credits play, I will let them play when I do the final mission, but I'm not going to let the credits play on every single fucking mission of the game, because this is not a TV show. I know that Kojima was watching 24 before developing this fucking game, and that's why he hired Kiefer Sutherland, and that's why the credits sound like 24. I don't need to see the credits on every mission. Carving out our own world, making our own future, and they took it away. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rebuild it, make a new place together. Call home. Oh, you mean the place that you were already building? The Diamond Dogs? The place that is already almost built? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we were done. Rather on the game and having run great all the time than have a service that gives me a bunch of games that I barely play any of them. Yeah. But that's why I'm saying um that's why I'm saying that they might focus on um improving cloud technology. Because they already have that technology, it's just not super implemented. You mean have both? Yeah, no, no, no. I don't mean I don't mean a console that is all cloud technology. I mean having normal technology and cloud technology, but they will focus a lot on it. Like I don't see them giving a lot of power to the console. I see them giving the console normal power, like PS4 ish kind of power, and for the really heavy hitting games, playing them on cloud. Like, if you want to play a game that has, like, really nice RTX graphics, uh, play that on cloud. Oh, look, a flashback of something that we saw, like, two hours ago. Oh, <laughs> trust me, we're going to see this again when I change to survive. Meme. And they did play us like a damn fiddle. Exactly as I planned. Give my regards to your boss when you get. War has changed, war never changes. Um, I'm writing down the, the redeems that I want to put, uh, and the player that stuck at Amphid all is one of the redeems I actually want, because we're going to be playing Metal Gear Solid 5 for a tiny bit, so it would be nice to have that, that redeem. Just to suffer. That's what it's from? Yeah, that's what it's from. Does that mean that you have heard a thousand times? It's from this cutscene. I'm the one who got caught up with Cypher. A group above nations. Even the US. And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power. I have no idea. A lot of people didn't. The, the meme was bigger than the game. I know that they are trained soldiers, but you have a guy that has been in a coma for nine years, and a guy that is missing a leg and an arm, and you have them on a noble helicopter, and they could fall out of that helicopter at any given fucking moment. Take back everything that we've lost, and I won't rest until we do. Now kiss. They are so gay. Why is the damn door open? Why not? <laughs> Our new mother base. They had to show the helicopter, but don't helicopters don't happen. have windows. They couldn't have shown that with a window. Better than before. <laughs> Our new mother base. Better than before, but it's smaller. Better than before, I said. I mean, like you used to. Created and directed by Hideo Kojima, the guy who fucked up the franchise. <laughs> I mean, it's the guy who made the franchise, but it's also the guy who destroyed it. Okay, that's their business? No, it's everybody's business. 
We are invested on their gayness. I'm invested on their gayness. Things have changed, boss. I've seen them fucking. We pull in money, recruits. Just a combat. Yes, yes it is, I've seen them fucking. Rubbing our noses I had to make them dirt. fuck. So all for revenge. The world calls for wet work. Invest in gay stock. That is the gay agenda. You have the gay stock and you have to invest in it. Now kiss. Come on. Kiss him. But we are going even deeper. But we're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. You don't have to be an asshole about it. Also, why giving him the, the fucking thing if he's going on the on the bed at like two steps away? It's like if he was still walking, giving him the the walking stick would be effective. Yeah, yeah, Grandpa, go to sleep. <laughs> Uh, a snake has them, Miller doesn't want them. Also, I have the snake's arm. And you can build the army that can do it. Just one thing, Cos. This isn't about the past. Why not? Um, uh, because he wants to remember and feel the pain. It is actually his plane. He doesn't want uh, prosthetics because he wants to feel the pain. To remember, to remember what he lost. Is that Travis Touchdown? Uh, yes, it's Robert Atkin Downs. It's Travis Touchdown. And Ocelot is Troy Baker. They, they are the same. Uh, Ocelot is the guy from The Last of Us, and Miller is Travis. Boss, there's something I want to talk about. It serves the running of Mother Bay. Oh, yes? You want to talk? Bureaucracy? We will talk bureaucracy in my fucking tomb. <laughs> Who cares about bureaucracy? Boss, come in. Boss? Boss! <laughs> Why did he suicide? I don't know. I only told him that we had to talk bureaucracy. He went for a swim. Just to suffer. Just to suffer. Yeah, 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 we already saw this. <laughs> it's funny how they respawn you on a cutscene instead of respawning you, I don't know, after them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a shower first. Mm, nothing to heal bullet wounds and and take blood of your fucking camouflage. Like mm, getting in a closet full of water. Because it works. This base belongs to you now. Make diamond dogs the force it deserves. Go for them, not me. That's enough. No, it isn't. Not. This isn't the time. It is always the time. I'm not finished yet. I will. You will be finished when I say you are. Go for them, not me. Oh yeah. <gasps> not the lolly lula lo. Yet. You will be. Two plus two equals five. Two plus two equals five. Two two equals five. No, it doesn't. That won't work on no, it doesn't work on I've you. Resistance is in training. training. Come on, finish your fucking sentence. I don't have the whole day. This base to you. Oh, I wonder what this is. What does this say? Under construction, Diamond Dog Space Unit. And there is a box. Caution. Falling. Box. Thing. Huh. 
Interesting. So be careful, there are boxes that can fall on your head. Oh. Hi! <laughs> Start My lunch? People in. Use this. It's a Fulton recovery device. Also known as my lunch. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or pr This isn't the time. Finish the fucking tutorial. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put him to sleep. <laughs> Tranquilizer gun, don't you? Don't pull any punches. Oh, yes, you can. That's one way of doing it. Also, now shut the fuck up. Good. Also, gotta love how they have all lethal weapons. I cannot equip them. I cannot equip any lethal weapons on my own base. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. Give it a rest. No. Right on the nuts. Go for them, not me. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. Select staff management. So that staff member yeah, is the R and D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons also, items uh, under the Also, the, the thumb, you're seeing the thumb moving, is me moving the joystick. The, the thumb moving on the right of the screen is me moving the joystick. Stupid detail? Yes. Strong. Necessary? Go no. Cool? Yes. Yeah. Select weapons items under the development heading. Please specify That's the R and D team's development list. See the item called cardboard box. I know what a cardboard box is. Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. I know. Shut up. You can also Sh pull shut up. That's enough. <laughs> This isn't the time. It's an honor. I'm glad it's an honor. Excellent, boss. Now extract it. Good. Lucky bastard. Give it a rest. Extraction, extraction complete. Arrived at One base. thing I should mention. Fulton extraction The person is injured. The shock of a good kill. I swear to God, I will throw him. Determine the chance of success by approaching the person. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I fucking know. In the meantime, also this yes. Talking and talking and talking and talking. Yeah, yeah, I know. Select weapons items under the development box. Now select cardboard box and start developing. Fucking box is a box. Just request it. You can have the support unit supply you with weapons and items to develop. Think of it as your own personal delivery. Like Amazon, my own personal delivery service. Where's that box coming from? Oh, there it is. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. When you call in a supply and there it is. Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said you'd know what to do. Try it out. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all You order a box inside a box to get inside the box. Just box. That about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Board the truck. My box. That's enough. This isn't the time. It is the time you broke my box. <laughs> Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while. To give the men some practice. Just come pay me a visit. Oh, 
Okay, I hope you're happy. Go to sleep. It's funny how they make you do this tutorial, Gino, you know, after you actually face enemies. Instead of before. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Begin by grabbing. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> Get out. Once you grab someone, you're free to do as you like. Interrogate him, knock him out, kill him. Scratch that last one. Yeah, because we Go cannot kill our own men. Who would do that? You know, they said you could kill your own men. Why giving me the fucking option if I cannot press it? Why giving me the option of having lethal weapons if I cannot use them? The, the morality system in this game is so forced. One more time. Go ahead and knock him out. I was trying to knock him out. Shut up. Extract the staff member. Extraction no, arrived at Mother Base. Strike an adversary repeatedly to knock him out. He'll stay unconscious for longer than if you throw him. <laughs> Go for them, not me. What if I want to go after That's you? Enough. You're the one fucking japping in the tutorial? It's an honor ball. What's the matter? Give it another try. Why are you not hitting? Why are you grabbing? I'm pressing, not holding. Go on and extract it. And there goes all my one. Work in progress, please pardon the inconvenience. Safety come first. Thank you for all your cooperation. You know when the work is done? Never. Never, because this game is not complete. Those fucking signs are always there. This isn't the time. Can you give me my next tutorial? No? <sighs> my god. Okay, I will call the chopper. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. <laughs> Never. Also, if you find where the chopper spawns, you can clearly see that the chopper is getting from below the sea level. Which doesn't make sense because this is a chopper, not a submarine. Oh, I don't have the magazines. I cannot use the magazines. How have I been playing this for two hours? Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Maybe tomorrow I will be able to play the game after, you know, I unlock all the things. There is so many loading screens in this game.
So punching someone is never that useful. Uh, if to use CQC with them, the best way is not punching them, it's just doing, uh, grabbing them and throwing them. Doing throws is, is way better than punching them. I wish there was like a fist fight mode, but no, there, there isn't. Mission list updated. Boss, I know you haven't been back long. Another thing that I don't fully like about this game, and this is not the game's fault, this is the voice acting direction fault. Because Robert Atkin Downs and Troy Baker, Ocelot and Miller, went for the exact same voice and the game doesn't tell you who the fuck is talking and sometimes i swear to god i cannot tell who the fuck is telling me the thing if miller or ocelot and 900 fucking mods on metal gear solid 5 pc 900 mods and there is not a single one that puts names on the dialogues dialogues that already have tags, tags that you can use to put a fucking name on every fucking dialogue. It wouldn't be that difficult, I swear to fucking god, I'm going to learn how to mod games just to make it myself, because it pisses me off that you cannot really tell sometimes who is telling you the thing, Ocelot or Miller. And it happens throughout the entire game. Just because they went for the same voice, and whoever was directing the voice acting didn't notice that they sounded pretty much the fucking same. But I prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. Please select a mission. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high value Please target elimination. Project. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. That means when, when did they take this so picture? Or this one? Or this one? This one I can understand. Also, it's it's not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in the corner is slightly bent. Uh but when did they take all the other pictures? You know, like the pictures that actually straight up fucking a screenshots from a cutscene where do you know this cutscene where they just got out of a helicopter after being kidnapped? Or this cutscene when there was only these two characters? When did someone take pictures of them? You know what? Never mind. Do not question it. Oh look, it's the 20 fucking soldiers I have that I don't actually have. Also get used to this chopper because it's when it's, it's where you're going to spend like 70% of the fucking game. You're either on a mission or this chopper. The base is completely useless. They made a giant fucking base that could have been so useful and is so useless. Because you make everything from the chopper. The base is useless. The base is just there for show. It's even worse than Peace Walker because on Peace Walker the base was there for show but you couldn't visit it. And what you could visit it was for missions. So it has a use. But in this game, the base, you can visit it whenever, but it doesn't have a news. It pissing me, it's pissing me off, it's pissing me really fuck off. In fact, I'm going to, wrong one, I'm going to go back to the main menu. Why, you would ask? Because we're going to Metal Gear Survive. Just so you can see why I am so angry at this game. Because I am this angry at this game. Mostly because of how much fucking wasted potential there is and how well they use it on the fucking Metal Gear Survive. You know, the spin off that everyone hated because Kojima wasn't involved in it. 
my ass, he wasn't involved. He was clearly involved, but they tried to hide it and they tried to say, Oh, Kojima wasn't involved in this and Kojima was an asshole and Kojima complained about Metal Gear Survive on an interview and everyone was like, See, he's not involved. He is involved. Metal Gear Survive is much more of a Metal Gear than Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain, will ever fucking be. And, unlike Phantom Pain, it's a complete game. Which is... Fucking worse. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to change to survive. I'll be back in a second. Also, uh, let's download this. I, I uploaded it for a reason. Okay, wonderful. Now, uh, let's uh, change the game. <laughs> 